I don't really, I don't really insult women and stuff like that. I think it's a bit mad. I can't argue with girl. That's then it's nice. like, That's I feel like if I'm doing that, then I got next thing I got to be on RuPaul's Drag Race, bruv, arguing with girl <laughs> and that. You get me? Like yeah. it's gonna be a bit mad. I can't be arguing with girl. That's yeah. a bit mad. <laughs> Big man Tinya is Castillo first, aka the main event, aka the sniper, bruv. Shout out to your baby, man. Now, big man Tinya, we live in a world full of clout chasers, bruv, and I'm sick of it. Why can't a real G like me find some real love, bruv? You could get nosebleeds when you get the wrong nun, bread. How this is gonna work is I'm actually gonna slap money in front of these gal, bruv. 1,000 for my eternal love. And I'm gonna try and find out if the gal that I'm here for the money and clout, or if they're there for real love, bruv. Big man Ting, this is clout chasers, bruv. So, my name is Katerina and I am an actress and stand-up comedian. I'm here for love, definitely. I mean, I haven't dated in quite a long time, so yeah, definitely looking to meet someone and see how it goes. My perfect man has to be funny, because I do stand-up comedy, so they have to, they have, to have great humour, obviously. <laughs> um, I would say passionate, driven, um, and just loyal and respectful, like respectful of my time and... Yeah, fun to be around. I deem love more important definitely when it comes to a relationship. Obviously when it comes to my work, money is very important, but love for sure. Would you ever be with a broke man? <laughs> I would, I would be with someone who's broke because, you know, I'm, I'm an independent woman. I like to earn my own money, so I don't want to be relying on someone to take care of me and, you know, do stuff for me. On the first date, I will always get my purse out because I think it's just the polite thing to do and it just shows that you have manners and that you're a polite person. However, sometimes when I'm sat there, I feel like my inner feminist is just like leaving my body and it's like I'm waiting for them to jump in and say, don't worry, babe, I've got this. <laughs> But I will always offer because I think it's polite. Hey, well gone. You look nice. Oh, you thank stand you. up and greet you on that. You so look beautiful. You. Mm. You look lovely. Thank you, thank you. I'm like trying. This fur, fur I'm trying, jackets. I'm trying, I'm trying, yes. It's very fancy. It's rabbit fur in that, you get me? Them rabbit proper fur. things. Yeah, yeah, proper things. What, like real rabbit fur? Yeah, yeah, from Zara and that. Yeah, you look nice. Where are you oh, from? Thank you. Um, I'm from Hertfordshire. Hertfordshire? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Do you know like Stevenage, Hatfield? Yeah, you, I had a few things up there, like around Hitchin. Like, <laughs> had a few things yeah, yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I know about them places there. Okay. So. You know, you know that way. Okay, yeah. But cool. I've got to ask you something before yeah. we start. Yeah, before we start off or anything. Go like, on, like, yeah. Like, do you like black guys? Do I like black guys? Love black guys. Like, in what you know what? Are? You know, I really like. Okay, this, this is my type. Idris Elba. Mm. Oh, love Idris Elba. In Luther. Have you watched Luther? Yeah, I, I don't look like that though. You don't look like. No, no, no. <laughs> don't look like Idris yeah, Elba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, Better he's really that. hot. Me. Big yeah. Thing. yeah but I have been out with black guys. Yeah. Mm, what do you think? What do your parents think about that though? My parents, they're what not. They're not, they not like racist or anything. Mm. Like. So they wouldn't <laughs> mind me the main that. event. They wouldn't mind that. They wouldn't mind if you're black or mixed. Yeah, black mixed race. Yeah. Mm. They wouldn't. They wouldn't mind. Not at all. I like that. I like no. that. I like well, that. I'm Greek anyway. I'm half Greek. Greek. Cypriot. Yeah, I'm half Greek. Cypriot, half English. Exotic things. I like that. Exotic thing. You get me? I like that. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay. Obviously, you know, I'm looking for love. Yeah. You get me? I'm looking for a serious thing, trying to settle down in that. You get me? Yeah. What do you think about sex on the first date? I personally wouldn't have sex on the first date, mm. but if a woman decided to have sex on the first date, I wouldn't like judge them for it. Because okay. I don't know, sometimes you just get really horny and it happens. It just, so, it just happens like that. And it just happens. You get but me? We've got to cheers to that. It just, it just happens, it you just get me? It just happens like I naturally. love that. I try not to have sex on the first date, just because mm. if I'm serious about someone, I sort of want to, you know, see how it goes. Prestige and then you've that. got, yeah, and then you've got something to look forward to as well. Yeah, like, you're trying to protect the gift in that, you get me? Well, yeah, just kind of see what see what happens. Yeah, I, no, I feel yeah. you can't be giving out the naan bread in that to everybody, you get me? Not everybody deserves the naan bread, you <laughs> get me? You gotta, you gotta pace that <laughs> no, out. Yeah, exactly, not everyone deserves it, no. The naan bread. So I gotta ask you this as well though. My DMs is a mad thing. Have you got a lot of DMs? Like My DMs is a mad thing. I got girl from North London, South East, What's West, Bear, yeah. Galchester, Birmingham, all of that. What's the worst DM like you've ever had from girl? Like the the worst. the worst one. Like what's the most shocking been? Like I've had like girl message me their non bread in that, but the worst really? one was when a girl messaged me. I thought I saw the back off. The back off was looking mad. Yeah. I was like, yo, turn around. It was a dick, bruv. No word of a lie. Oh my god. 
ball God. bags and all of that, what did, did you reply to it? Did no, you say, bro. You didn't say... No, bro. But shout <laughs> out to the LGBT community, bro. You get me? Yeah, right? yeah. You get course. me? The man was feeling a bit saucy that day. He thought, yeah. you know what? Let me show man my ball bags and that. So it's his choice. You there's get me? You've got to respect the choice. There's nothing wrong with sending a nude. Although, I don't think... I've never sent, like, a pussy pic never. to someone. No. I, I read that. I read I've that. I've sent a nude. Like a full on... Like a full nude. But not just of my... Of my See, no. Who was it that you sent the, the new to? Oh, to a boyfriend. To a boyfriend. Can you trust him though? Could, could you trust him? Yeah, yeah. Because you never know. Your phone could be all up in Czechos or Douglas Stan right now. You would never know. <laughs> I'm not like, wow. Well, I wouldn't want this to be all on like sites or something. Mm. Yeah. Speaking no. of which, though, have you ever made a sex tape? I made a sex tape. I like to watch my. I with, like to watch with my a boyfriend, shit. I've made a sex tape. Yeah, mm. with a boyfriend, but not with like a random person. No, with a boyfriend though. See, the yeah. thing is, I've done that with a random person or some. Mm. Next thing I met on a, at a rave, innit? And then... Oh, was it awkward? Went back to, well, we went back to our yard and we was getting into the thing and a brethren started filming me. I thought that was a bit mad. That is Like sad. a girl was a bit mad just filming me in the background and that. You right. get me? And it was a bit... It was, yeah. Yeah, you get me? It sounds me. like a full-on porno. Yeah, it's a bit mad. I feel like... Can I, can I get it anywhere if I want to watch it? Is it up No, I feel like I want to tell the feds about that, you know? It's a bit <laughs> mad. Like, I'll never become president now because this is mad incriminating information like that. <laughs> You get me? Man weren't really prepared for that. She just caught me off guard. Yeah. You get well, me? I'd be quite shocked by that. I think it's like consent as well. Like you've got a consent mm, you get me. to you things like that. You've got to respect consent. You get me? Well, you do. You can't just... I like you that. You can't just be whipping out your phone and like filming someone having sex. Big man sing. I like so, that. But this is what I wanted to ask you though. Mm. So are you a jealous person though? I'm very secure in myself. Mm. However, I don't know. Say, say we're here. We're here having this date, right? Mm. And say a girl who you used to, I don't know, hook up with comes up to you and is like hugging you and you're like, oh my God, I'm so happy to see you. I would be sitting here getting a little bit jealous, yeah. And then once she turned around to you and was like, what are you looking at, you slag, babe? Don't watch me. I, I wouldn't call her a slag. No, That's but what she fun. said that to you, what are you going to do? You're going to... Oh! What are you gonna do? You're gonna oh, bust her up? Oh uh, yeah, a hundred percent. Yeah. No. What's your move then? What's your what's your move that you're gonna do? What's my move? Yeah, like when she says like, yo, why are you watching me? Let's get all blood. Why are you watching me? And she's a road girl, isn't it? So she's on a mad thing. Yeah. You get me? So she's like, I don't know, Sunita, like that's her name. Let's call her Sunita. She's, <laughs> like, she's like, bitch, what the fuck are you watching? Shut up, yeah. And then she starts putting it on you. I just wow. give her a strong backhand, mm. like a Peggy Mitchell EastEnders Peggy vibe, Mitchell like things. a fucking backhand. And call the feds, yeah. you get yeah. me? You would call the feds, wouldn't you? Yeah. Um, yeah. You, would, you would call the feds? Would call you work with the feds? You call the feds, yeah, of course, yeah. Okay, look, on, okay. on her. Okay, on, on her. her. No, no, not on, no, okay. no, not on you. You haven't done got, anything. I got a spongy That's a difference. You haven't done anything wrong. So. I like that. I like. So let me ask you this though. This is like, leads into my next question. Yeah. Okay. So, I do a mad thing. Yeah. You do a mad thing. I do a mad thing. Yeah. What, the what feds come and get me. Oh, you do. Okay, I was thinking. I do a mad thing. Right. Yeah? Okay. The feds come. Nothing zesty in it. Nothing zesty in that. <laughs> yeah. I do yeah. a mad thing. Mm. The feds come and get me. Yeah. Yeah. They kick down your door, they take me, it's a mad thing. Like, you're like, yo, what's going on, yeah? Okay. I'm about to do 10 years. With the man them up in there, bruv, they want to take my body. It's mad, I'm a good looking guy. So do guy. I have to be one of it's those mad. prison wives that keeps like yeah. visiting you and being like, oh, and then I have to write you letters? Exactly, will you hold it down? I don't know if I'm about that. You want to hold it down? I don't so, know, I don't want to be one of those prison women. You know those girls who date like guys who are in prison and then they're writing them letters, like. So then how soon like, after are you on another willy after I've been locked up? <laughs> after they put me there? But how long have we been together but at this point? It's how been a year. You get me? That's year. enough time. That's still quite a long time to be with someone. I don't think I'm going to like jump on someone's dick straight away. How long though? What's, what's the estimate? Three to five business days thing? What, what is it? <laughs> what, what are we talking about? No. International things, two weeks? No, I'd, t- I'd take my time. I think when I... Usually, like, if a, if a relationship ends for me, mm. I take a good month, month and a bit. A month so, like, and until a bit. I, until I sleep with someone else. Yeah, I'm not, like, jumping in straight away with someone. You're not going to write me letters or nothing? <laughs> I mean, why did you go into... what? what, what was Because I did it? a mad thing. Was it, like, drug dealing or something? No, I literally had to clap man's whole face off. I mean, he's no longer here, bruv. R.I.P. to him and everybody in his bloodline. Yeah. He's gone. You never see man again. He's a ghost. I could be with a murderer. I don't know. Mad thing. But know. Then, wouldn't you find that a bit sexy, though, the fact that I done clap man's head Is off? Is it like a Ted Bundy sort of thing? Man got rude and I had to clap his face off, bruv. Went over to his yard, clapped off everybody. Like, the whole family tree had to go. <laughs> 
<laughs> I had to wipe off everything. There's yeah. nothing left. How could I bring it a murderer home to my mum and dad? But it wouldn't excite you, though. You wouldn't, at the corner of your mind, like, yo, he's a bit it, sexy, a bit dangerous. It, still, like, you know, it, killing it, people. Not, not really. No. Never. <laughs> okay, if you, like, I don't know, if you just sort of, like, rough someone up a little bit, okay, mm. maybe that's a bit of a turn on, maybe. Yeah. But not, like, full-on murder, no. I rate you for being honest. Yeah. You get me? I rate you for being good, honest, good. yeah? Good, yeah, let's, let's change the topic, innit? Change that was the topic, get, mix that was getting up. a bit. That was getting a bit dangerous. It was getting deep there, yeah. How freaky are you? I am quite kinky. Mm. I like handcuffs and handcuffs. things like that. Yeah, a little, a little bit kinky, but not like, I, you know, I won't wear like a gimp mask or something. Are you like whipping men yeah. in that? You can whip me like with a spanking paddle, like a mm. paddle. You can get these like paddles, right? And they have little like air holes in them. So then if you spank me, it will leave like a little mark, which is quite... I think that's quite hot. It's a bit it's zesty like, still, but I, I feel that's you. That's quite hot, yeah. We, I yeah. must have beat a ting in Tinseltown toilets once. <laughs> in what? Tinseltown in, 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 in what's it? it, Farringdon. You know Farringdon? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah we I know Farringdon. in Tinseltown toilets. Like, we literally went on a date, and in the moment that's caught her, she was just like, come with me. Come with yeah. me. I was like, oh, where are we going? I was like, oh, where are we going? <laughs> yeah? So like, do, you say, do you say you do really well on dates then, that women just, like, have to have sex with you straight yeah. away? She was salivating. I could see it in her face. She wanted the main event. I could see it. <laughs> I could see it. I could see all of her face. I knew it. Okay. But then when she took, she took me to... She was taking me to the bathroom, then she takes me to the ladies' toilets. And I was like, oh, God, like, now I'm going to be on the register, bruv. What's, what's going on? I want to be there. I think man caught chlamydia or something, bruv. It's a bit mad. Oh. Yeah, bruv. Okay. Have you ever slept with a celebrity, a famous person? No, I've never slept with a famous person. No. I'm surprised, you know. I'm no, very surprised. You're surprised? Yeah, you look, you look, you're a beautiful <laughs> woman. I thought, do you get what I mean? Your Instagram no. would be popping. No. Footballers and that. I haven't, no. I've had, like... Some fam famous people slide in the DMs, but I haven't like gone out and like slept with them or anything. Because also it's like, I don't want to date someone just because they're famous. Like they're kind of famous. What, like, like Gus from EastEnders and that? <laughs> no, Keith. but someone from EastEnders actually did slide in my Keith? DMs. Keith from EastEnders. Keith. Keith. Who, who, Remember Keith? Who like, the fuck's Keith from EastEnders? He was like the dad and he wore like the jacket and he had like the hair. Keith. No, I do not remember that at all. Keith, you got, how about Trevor? Remember Trevor from EastEnders? I remember Trevor, yeah, yeah Trevor, the, the wife, the, yeah, the beater, Trevor, Trevor's the a wife mad, beater. Trevor's a mad guy, like, he yeah. was moving mad, he was moving very mad. No, he he hasn't slid in yet, no. What, like an extra, like like Winston? It was a... Right? Just a <laughs> random black brother. No, it wasn't an extra, it was somebody who's actually, like, has, had, like, a long running part on EastEnders mm. and stuff, yeah. Shout out to Phil, bruv. It was a... <laughs> Don't know, bruv, <laughs> right? Shout out to Phil, bruv. I saw him one time in Ealing, bruv, he's a good guy. <laughs> Phil Mitchell's not really my type, so no. You don't like the bald look? No, my dad's bald. My dad's mm. bald. Isn't that? I'd be like fucking your dad. Mad thing. I don't know all about it. We don't condone that here, bruv, on the on the yeah. Clout Chasers show, bruv. We don't condone that. You get me? We're not on that. I'm really looking for love. I'm really looking for that special person. It's a good place to be, yeah. You How about be you? When was your last relationship? It was literally just before the pandemic started. So March mm. 2020 it ended. And then since then I've been single, so. So why, why did it end? Well, you know what, we just wanted different things. Like, we kind of got together very quickly. Mm. Um, and then we ended up just, yeah, wanting different things. Like, I, I do stand-up comedy. Ooh, and he, nice, does, nice. he does comedy as well. And I think there was this sort of, like, competitiveness between us. And it just didn't really work, so, uh, yeah. You do stand-up comedy, yeah, so you're a funny person. Yeah. Tell me a joke, you gotta make me laugh. I mean, most of my jokes are quite inappropriate, like dick jokes and like. Okay, this is going. And like dating jokes and things yeah, that's like fine. that. So, one guy said to me, he said, um, Are you a New Year's resolution? Because I plan on doing you for the first few weeks of January and then forgetting about you for the rest of 2020. Mad that's one chance that's, that's I had. That's a bit mad still. Yeah, and that did that actually one. happen to me as well. For real? Yeah, so that was quite So, you sad. got the non bread and you just go. And then he just went, yeah. I was a New Year's resolution, basically. So, I want you to tell me if. If you like my joke. You're really funny. You could, would you do stand-up comedy? Nah. Why? Because life ain't that funny, bruv. Life is a mad thing for me right now, <laughs> To be bruv. fair, though, most of the things that are funny in stand-up is like you moaning about life anyway. Like I've got, stuff like I've that. got two jokes, yeah? All right, okay. One of them somebody told me, mm. and it used to make me bust up, but it's a bit of a mad one, yeah? Right. And the other one is a joke that I would tell. So I got a funny joke that I would say to, to people. It'd be like, to man them, like, be like, your dick's so small, you pee on your own balls, bruv. <laughs> that's, that's, that's dope. That's jokes, don't it? Yeah, you're busting up. You like that. Yeah? I mean, it's quite silly. It's very silly. It's very it's silly, silly, silly humour. Silly joke. But then this is the joke somebody mm. told me. It was told to me by a guy in college, yeah? He was a grunger. You know what grungers are? A grun... What? Like grungers in, like, grungy... He was like a like, gothic guy. A used, gothic guy. Yeah, okay, he used to have like, long hair. Like, he yeah. was kind of... He kind of gave me, like, Unabomber vibes. I'm not going to lie. I felt he was going to wrap off the whole school. I was very... 
afraid of him. This is why I befriended him, because I thought if he was going to go and lock off the whole thing, bruv, he would remember his one black brethren and be like, yo, <laughs> and then save me, bruv, and everybody else would be gone, bruv. Right, yeah? okay. But just a quick story about him, yeah. I went on his Facebook the other day, yeah, mm. yeah, and he's on some EDO thing, some mad thing. E EDO? EDO. What does that even stand Tommy for? Tommy Morris Hob Robinson and them man there. He's oh. one of them man. He shaved his gothic hair. Okay, he right. He went to a goth right. to a racist, bruv. I couldn't even write you that. <laughs> okay, yeah, right. he's now a racist goth man. Yeah. But this is the joke that he told me. He said, yeah. why did the girl fall off the swing? Why did the girl fall off the swing? Because she had no arms. That's, that's a bit a, mad, isn't that's it? That's an awful joke. Yeah, that's because he. That, I should have clocked that he was a sick youth from back then. That's he's a, a mad yeah, guy. no, that's a bad joke. That's a bad yes, but he's shout out to him. I don't know what he's going through, bruv, but Black Lives Matter, bruv. Don't be moving <laughs> mad, bruv. Yeah, what you what you think about black people? No, I'm just what? joking. I'm I'm taking. A bit. <laughs> I try and mess you up. I'm not going to do that. This one I want to ask you though. Yeah? yeah, who's your favorite rapper? Stormzy. I do actually love his stuff. What's, his, what's your great. favorite Stormzy song? No one, they're so ever. You don't even know them. So no, no, I know, I know who he is, obviously, but I'm not very good at naming songs. The song where he's, uh, what's the, what's the song? I don't what's even know, babe. You tell me. You know them people when you say, oh, I know that, I know about no, him. He's, Stormzy, I do like his rap music. I just can't name the song. If Stormzy came in right now, babe, and he started splashing out cash and all that stuff, he just put out a rack of money, pulled yeah. out in the range outside, got yeah. the big yard, all of that, and he came out, started flashing his money. Would he be able to steal you from me? Um, not no. I'm not really impressed by someone just throwing money up in the air. He's got the big boy Roly though. The Roly is mad. Yeah, diamonds and that. I don't like when guys do that though. The whole like Rolex thing. But then he pulls out the keys. It's like an Audi R8. It's got the futuristic thing for the year 3033. The shit flies. Mm, yeah, no, cars mean nothing to me at all. Mad no, too. no. But I mean, he he's a good looking guy though. He's mm. hot. Like. I would, I would think he was very attractive, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't be tempted because he was showing me his Rolex and his fancy car. Cause mm. I know a lot of girls like that. That's just materialistic thing. I know a lot of girls that I like that. They'll give up the naan bread quick. You just gotta be like, yo, roly, and then that's it. <laughs> well, girls do this thing. Like I actually did a sketch about it, right? Where we're on a date. Say I have my phone at the table where I'll take a picture, but I just won't get your face in. I'll get the watch in. Oh. And imagine. then they'll put it on their story and be like, date night. Don't they? And girls yeah, do that. Yeah, girls do that. that all the time, and it's a bit. Yeah, girls are going to Dubai and getting weed on, bruv. It's a mad thing. <laughs> Full weed in their face, bruv. A bit okay, right? Yeah, so right. girls are moving mad out here for the money. That's why I'm on this thing, trying to find out if it's love or money. Yeah, love or clout. I think, yeah. So is that why you're on this show, basically? That's to, why I'm trying to find the to right find the, the right woman. Yeah, right. Exactly. Okay. But I got to ask you this, yeah. So like. We're here together, I'm looking yeah. at you, you're looking at me. I could mm -hmm. tell you my favourite feature about you. To be yeah, fair, I actually, I'm looking at you, right? Mm -hmm. But your sunglasses are so dark, I cannot see your eyes. Because eyes are the window to the soul. It's a lot of dangerous stuff, it's, it's a lot, a lot of lot demons. <laughs> you, might <laughs> lose, you might lose your life, it's but mad. It could, why are you wearing sunglasses though and we're inside? <laughs> I'm protecting myself from the demons, the frequencies, bruv. Okay. I can't let people into my soul, okay. otherwise okay. they'll take it away. Okay. Next thing I'll be out here on, on Bricks and High Street selling reggae CDs and incense. <laughs> I lose my mind. Okay, okay. I can't do that. That's right. why. But your my favorite features on you. You got beautiful hair and beautiful eyes. You got oh, beautiful thank eyes. you. Yeah. Eyes. A lot of people say my eyes are my best. Yeah, features. Yes, it's so very like you. piercing. I like that stuff. Right. So would you break up with a guy if his sex was dead? Probably, yeah. How much leeway do you give him? Like first time, second time, you're like, bruv, to be fair, when you have two inches, bruv, it's when not you have work. sex with someone the first time, it sometimes isn't going to be amazing, just because you mm. don't. Sometimes you don't know what each other like, like what you you're both into. So I can, mm. I you can let that slide. Yeah. But if it's gone to like, I don't know, you've had sex five times and it's still not there, mm. I feel like you need to communicate it with them. What's your pet peeve during sex? A pet peeve. Like what's something a guy does like this gives you the ick. Not even during sex. What gives you the ick? Okay. I don't mind dirty talk. That's mm. fine. But I don't like when people like like whisper it in your ear. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Just like it's very like really softly, like a soft whisper. Like wanting some night stalker thing. <laughs> like just a soft whisper. Like a, a guy did it to me once where he like softly whispered in my ear and I was like, weird. Mad thing. But I don't mind I don't mind dirty talk, but it just has to be like vocalised loudly, not like whispered in my ears. Talk, how soon do you get into the dirty talk? I don't think on the first I don't not on the first time you have sex. Mm -hmm. I think you should build build yeah, up I, to I it. Think you should build you it can't up. be calling someone like a dirty slut like first time mm -hmm. you've had sex. You've got to let that marinate, you get no. me? You've got to let the thing Oh my marinate. god, actually, right? Someone on Instagram, he, he called me a slapper on Instagram. He, he slid into my DMs, he called me a slapper. What's, 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 his, what's his Instagram so we can tell him to suck his mum, bro? <laughs> Disrespecting the girl, bro. You don't do them things. But I just 
think that's such an old school word as well. Would you call a girl a slapper? That's such like, no, that's so East Enders, what, isn't it? Like, what does that mean though, like a slapper? A slapper's like a slag, a slut, it's... Like a dirty guy. A, like, yeah, yeah. Then one day. No, no, no. But it's just such an old word. I don't really, I don't really insult women and stuff like that. I think it's a bit mad. I can't argue with girl. That's then it's nice. like, that's I feel like if I'm doing that, then I got, next thing, I've got to be on RuPaul's Drag Race, bruv, arguing with girl <laughs> and that. You get me? Like, yeah. it's going to be a bit mad. I can't be arguing with girl. That's yeah. a bit mad. What's like your limits for the guy? Like, how much does the guy have to be earning to date you? <clears throat> well, here's the thing. I wouldn't ask that on a date, though. I wouldn't, on a first date, be like, right, how much are you earning? Because mm. <laughs> it's just such, like, it's, a, it's so materialistic. But you've got to know that, because what if, like, you get with man, he's like, yo, you, you meet in a club, you've seen rollies, bottles, all of that, and the next day he's like, yo, babes, I've got to quickly head to Job oh, Centre to get that universal credit. <laughs> Then? I've been out with a lot of poor guys though, a lot of poor men, and it hasn't like... What's your definition of poor though? Like what, you can't, you got to well, turn his boxes no, this inside was, out this, and shit to no. like, reuse that? <laughs> this was really stupid. This is where I, I drew the line personally. Like we'd been dating for a little bit and then he was like, oh, I can't, I can't come and see you today because like I can't afford my petrol to, to get to. But that's bearing not bad in though. Mind, bearing in mind, he only lived like 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no. Nah, you could have walked, man. You could have. I would have been a disciple for the naan bread. I would have literally been like, yo, let me just. You would have got there. on the bike. Now yeah. I would have walked it. You get me? Quick little brisk essential walks in that. You get me? You got to do what you got. To. I've travelled. I've travelled many lengths and far and mm, very far places for the. I've travelled for the day. How far have you travelled for the day? I mean, definitely out out of the M25. Mm, yeah. We talking I've gone past the like? M25 to get to the day. Where's that like Slough? <laughs> Slough is a mad place, man. Like, it's got to be within reach, So it? how far did you travel, though? Like, if we had to give a city, is like Birmingham? I've been to Birmingham, yeah. I dated a guy Keynes in Birmingham. In uh, yeah, well, actually, one of my ex-boyfriends, he lived in Milton Keynes. So, mm. Mm, so is that how far you travelled for the, for the Willie and that? For, for the D, yeah. I travelled all the way to Portsmouth for some, for some naan bread. Was it, was it worth the journey? Mm, mm, to be fair, it was, you know, because she ended up being like a stripper. It was just a bit awkward, because when we went out, Bearman was watching her, and I was like... I was like, how you know these people? These your neighbours and that. Like, but surely, up... right? If you're looking for someone who's like not obsessed with money and mm. it's just like all about you and in love with you, surely in a way it might be a good thing to date someone like a stripper because they're earning their own money. They're not like after you for like, you know. That means bare men have seen my girl's non bread. It's kind of a weird feeling, bruv. Like, you get me? Like, imagine <laughs> man just coming up to me, chatting to me and with my girl and they're just looking up and down like, raw, like I've seen everything, bruv. I've seen it in HD, bruv. <laughs> Seen that shit in 4K, Bev. Give me another example of what you mean by like broke. To be fair, like, I have a lot of friends though who are on like Universal Credit and stuff like that. Because when you're yeah. like a creative, like sometimes you're just out of work and you have to be, you know. So then what if not... he's like your babes? Like he's on the Universal Credit thing, he's like your babes. I'm literally just the eighth mixtape, it's about to blow. It's just dreams and dreams and nightmares, volume 25. Like this is gonna be the one. You've been with him from Street Dreams, volume one. Now Street Dreams 59. Mm. He's like, babes, this is gonna be the one, yeah. And you're like, Bev. You're going to wait for him until he blows up? I think it's good that he has passion for something. That he's got passion for his music and whatever. And yeah, I probably would stay with him. But if it's like, oh yeah, I'm working on my music. But then in the evening, yeah, I'm getting high and whatever. It's like, okay, well, you're not really committing to your work. Would you stay if his music's dead? Mm, his me, his me, would you be honest and be like, Baze, I'd be that honest That would be quite hard to support, yeah. So would you, would you go up to me like, Baze, let's, let's call a spade a spade, like your mixtape's dead, like... What are we saying? <laughs> would you tell him that? Would you be real with him? I feel like you should be honest with, with people. I don't think I could be with someone and just be like, oh my God, yeah, your music's so cool. And then in my head, I'm thinking, oh my God, it's fucking shit. So, so you tell him to his face and crush his soul? I think I would say, but I wouldn't say it like that. I wouldn't say, oh, your music's dead. So how would you I say would, it? How would you, how would you I would like, to? you know, a soft blow, like not. But what if then he says like, babes, you know, the music was keeping me going. I'm going to jump in front of this train now. You just ruined my life. <laughs> But then I wouldn't want to be with someone that insecure who's going to like just suddenly go jump off a bridge because I've said their music's bad. Big man thing, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I rate that. That's, that's support right there. Yeah. Have you ever supported a man for his hard times? What, with money? Yeah. No, because I'm a creative. I've got no money myself. So. Oh, damn. <laughs> Both of you broke together. Mad thing. How can I help someone else? <laughs> Mad thing. How could a man with no money charm you? You could do, a, pic- you could do a, p- a cute picnic or something like that. That's not. P- so that doesn't cost a lot of money. To so you wouldn't like judge him. Little, no, a picnic's cute. I think that's not. Nice. If you put a lot of effort in and thought into it, I think that's quite sweet. So what, like it's one, nice. two, Blossom Hill? It's quite a nice mm. little day, I think. What happens after that is like, yo, babes, you got to jump on the bus now. We got to jump on the E7. What are you, what are you saying? 
It's bus is fine. I'm mm, not mind getting on a bus. I like that. You see, I'm you're a real one for that. getting on buses. It's fine. You're a real one for that. A lot of girls wouldn't do that. They'd be like, Rev, fuck you and your petrol station sandwich, Rev, and this dead egg and crest thing. <laughs> what would you do if on the date you lot in the park, yeah, and the man them come up to me like, yo, pussy, yo, move, Rev. Idiot. We saw, and he's like, oh, shit, I'm, I'm sorry. I have to, what would you do then? I do like a guy who's going to stand their ground mm -hmm. and not be like, oh, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, no, he's got, why, why, why should he move? Why have they mash him up then? What, what are you saying? Were you going to back him? Like, they, like you're a And he's like, no, <laughs> no, I will not move. I will not. No. And he's like, well, dear kid. Next thing you see, bear man stepping on him. Turning a man into yeah. tomato puree, bruv. They're just stepping on him, <laughs> bruv. It's a mad team. So if, if, if I was with a guy, right, and if someone approached him and he looked like he was going to attack him, I would say to the guy I'm with, like, okay, let's just move. Like, I wouldn't want to cause a conflict. What would you do if he started being fully on it? He's like, yeah, you want some? You want some? Start taking off his clothes. No, that's embarrassing. No. That. So you wouldn't like that? No, he's backing himself. No, we're well, not taking off their clothes and being like, oh yeah, you want some. No, that's embarrassing. Like, handle things with dignity. Walk away and be like, oh, all right, mate, I'm going to move. So you will not like, think he's a pussy, or? No, no, I will not think he's a pussy for that. So then if he gets mashed up, yeah, and then you go home, are you going to give him the naan bread? After he's just been beaten up by someone. He got someone. mashed up, he's like, babes, babes. And they're like, shut up, and he's weighing him in, bruv. Just on some mad thing, there's busting man up. <laughs> yeah, he's, back, he's back at home now. He's he got might not be on. capable to have sex after that, though. If he's what? just been beaten up. But then what if he wanted a non but He's like, yo, babes, I just want some of that. You're going to be like, fam, you got a I just like give him a hug or something, make him a cup of tea. Yeah, see, I like that. I like that. I've got to choose yeah. you for that. That's dope. Yeah. I've got to rate that. That's, <laughs> that's a nice thing to do. It's a nice thing to do, yeah. I love that. Not... See, now I'm here to find the right woman. I'm, I want to find the right gal. What makes you loyal? I think what makes me loyal mm is that say we've been on a few dates already and we've already built like a little connection between us. Why would I then ditch you to just go with someone who's got money? I don't know anything about that person. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they, you know, any, I don't know anything about them. All I know is that they've got a nice Rolex and a nice car. Like that doesn't make a person nice mm -hmm. or like wanna, I wanna spend the rest of my life with them, does it? So yeah, I think that that's what makes me loyal anyway. So you wouldn't give them the non bread on a little quick one night thing and come back to me? <laughs> No, well, no, not just based on the fact that they have a nice watch. Why are they trying to fly know. you out? Maldives in that? I would love to go to the Maldives, to be fair. See, there you go. I would See, love that's, to that's go, but I wouldn't sleep with someone that's to go to starts. the Maldives. <laughs> so I've had a great date. Yeah, it's been a great time with you, getting to know you and all of that. How have you felt about this date? I've had a lot of fun. It's been good. Yeah. Mm, I feel I like, like we've, we've got a little we've vibe. Connected we've that. connected. We've got on a deeper level with things mm, a little bit. Yeah, like I've that. had fun. It's been good. So now, yeah, you know I'm trying to find true love. Mm. The show is called Clout Chasers, yeah? So if I was to choose you, could I rely on you? Yeah, 100%. I think we've built a little, like I said, I think we've built a bit of a connection. Mm. I feel I've been very honest with you about like what I'm after and mm. like where I am, where I'm at in life. Mm. So yeah. What are your traumas? There's a lot, you get me? Yeah. If I take these shades off, bruv, this whole room will get dark. So look, yeah, you know what this is about, yeah? You're gonna give me a ring? A ring? Yeah. So what, like a like an onion ring thing? Like? like I would like to have a strong black man that is emotionally mature mm. and willing to work on his traumas and grow from within. That's like free man, bruv. That's mad, you just... <laughs> Thank you.